Okay. Well, today's your lucky day. I wash it myself. Come with me. Have a seat. Or hey, don't forget to use a cable. It's not my first day. That's a picnic, Stacy. I know all about this, okay? Yeah. Shouldn't I be taking my jacket off? Leave the jacket, take off your pants. I'm kidding. <laughs> I just need a moment. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. I've got to get away from the pain you drive into the heart of me. The love we share seems to go nowhere. And I was not right. For I toss and turn, I can't sleep at night. I'll be done. Get him. Jorge. Hi, Jorge. Remember me? Oh, yeah, as a shampooing girl. So how goes it with the shampooing good? Engagement. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean in two. Uh, what kind of engagement? Were you going to uh, meet up with Inspector Crawford and figure out how you can burn my place down this time? Gina, I just love it when you let that imagination of yours run wild. It's so street. <laughs> you haven't even begun to see the street. You know, I knew you had something to do with it. You know, coming by my salon, talking about how hard it is to own a business. What with the paying of fines and the state board coming by. And I asked myself, why would he say something like that? Gina, look at me. Look to Jorge. Do I seem like the type of person that would reside in such deviant behavior, huh? With those plans, yeah, you kind of do. What's it this? That is World's Dumbest Criminals, starring you and Inspector Crawford. You should be a little more secretive about the way you do dirt. So, George Christie of Austria via Nebraska. Yeah, I know about you. I know your secret. The point is this. You didn't break me. I'm still standing. And my shop is open and doing very good business. And you will never ever intimidate me because I'm a phenomenal woman kind of like what you try to be but don't really pull off hey hey have a nice ride back to that rib shack you call a shop don't don't cut yourself on the broken glass bitch somebody say cut 